Hello, everybody. Um, I hope you're reading this or watching this, and if you're not, well, you're going to miss out on a few instructions for the day. So um, I spoke to everybody uh, yesterday when we looked over our grades and we looked ahead for this week's assignments that we are going to be writing arguments this week. And so if you weren't here yesterday, what we did is we basically started to think about and choose um, the possible topic we'll write about. And so if you didn't do it, please today go to the exit ticket from yesterday and submit the thing you're going to write about. Okay, it was the exit ticket in, in Monday's work. And that's so I can review your, your topic and what you want to argue about. Now, we're going to start writing and planning and doing all those things on Wednesday's lesson. So today's lesson is a little bit different than, than what the agenda on the sub plan said. But here it is. We're going to be once again practicing analyzing arguments. All right, so you're going to have two separate assignments. The first is you are going to read an argument, uh, a real world one, written in the New York Times newspaper um, advocating for recess. And so in that, the author makes a clear claim. They, um, they use reasoning. They use statistics and facts. And so what I want you to do is you can pair up with a partner um, and you can work through that article and complete the chart that's attached to the assignment. So that's assignment one. That should take some time. And um, I included a sample, another argumentative article in that assignment with an already filled in um, chart to show you how it could look like. So I give you the teacher version and then I want you and your partners uh, to read through the first argument and break that down. Once you've done that, okay, once you've once again familiar, familiarized yourself with claims, reasons, evidence, counter arguments, the whole shebang, um, we're going to further practice, further kind of practice with um, what's called an essay planner. And so this is a little bit more in depth. This is a bigger graphic organizer chart thing um, than the first chart. So this kind of breaks down an essay into all its different parts. And so I want you to, again, read a second argumentative essay. This one as a sample essay. This was not published in like the New York Times or anything like that. Instead, it, um, it was designed for this lesson. So I want you and your partner, again, to read through the argument, this time about potentially waiting um, a few years before going to college. That's, that's the claim or that's the, um, that's the topic. And so it's a two-page argument. I want you to look through it. And then again, I want you to map out every part of it. What's the claim? What are the background information? Like what's background information they give you about college? Um, what are the reasons? What evidence do they use? Is there a counter argument? Is there a rebuttal to that? All of those parts can or are in there. And I want you to pull those out by carefully reading through it and filling that chart in. This second one is more important, I would say, than the first. So if you have one assignment to do today, do this one, the second one, because that essay planner is what you're going to do for your essay tomorrow. So it's be, it certainly would be helpful to become familiar with the essay planner to see how it can be filled in. And again, I gave you a teacher version. I gave you a filled out planner for another essay to, so you can really see how what it looks like. And so, yeah, those are our two assignments. Everything's posted on Canvas. Uh, the, the name of the game today is all about um, analyzing and breaking down arguments. Um, so the more you practice and the more you submit today, I strongly feel the better you'll be tomorrow when you start thinking about your own topic, planning it out, so we can write on Thursday and Friday. All right, that's it. I will hopefully see you, everybody, on Thursday, and you'll hear from me again uh, tomorrow. All right, go get your work done.